Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you visual scripting in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to be using our coin collected signal in order to keep track of our score. So let's get started. So, like I said, we have this new signal called coin collected. So how are we going to use that? We are going to make a new script for main. So as always, make sure and add it to our scripts folder. And when that is done, all we have to do is click on coin, double click coin collected, and it will make this on coin coin collected script for us. All right, perfect. Now, anytime a coin is collected, this function will fire off. So let's first go ahead and make a score variable. It's going to be an int. It's going to start at zero. And we're going to say, let's add one to our score and control drag, set that score. And now we are going to print out that new score. And as you can see, we have one. Um, I'm gonna teach you a little trick real quick called string concatenate. And this way we can make our prints a little bit more appealing. So we can say score, then press enter. You can drag this int over here and the string up there. And now we can see score is one. All right, awesome. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. We can go ahead and duplicate these and move them around. So you can have a bunch of different coins that you have to collect and you'll be able to watch as your player collects them as your score goes up. And that is basically all there is to making and keeping score using these coins. In the next lesson, we will be going over how to create a UI so that you don't have to rely on this output log because you won't have that when you build the game. So that was it, short lesson. Um, see you next time. Thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date. Please also join us on our Discord, linked in the comments, and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to. Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.